Slow down, buckaroo. If the fates decree it, it'll happen. All right, let's... So, we need whale vomit. I know There's that. There's a squid sticking out of the creel. Can we grab it? I think I know what we might need to do. Excuse me, that's Mr. Wiggle's food. He might not like it with someone else's body stink on it. But nothing personal. How could I possibly take that personally? All right, so maybe what we need to do is use the hot sauce on this and make him throw up. You're on the right track, but try a more direct approach with the hot sauce. Don't give the whale any nasty surprises, at least not with Jasmine around. Hmm. So we need to get rid of Jasmine. And what else do we need while we're thinking about it? Uh, let's see. Mentions the... I said that, wait, whoops, I fucked it up, hold on. So, uh, see, so do yourself section about how you can make your own perfume with flowers and alcohol. Alcohol is easy enough to get. We have the flowers. Also mentions the addition of whale vomit, which we need to get now, and a granular secretion civet extracted from the animal anal glands of a cat-like animal. Well, I know where the cat is, but she can't, I don't know how to grab the cat. If I could get the fish, that would probably help. All right, anyway, how do we get rid of her? She stands before you, totally unself Yes? Can I have your baby? Are you talking to my hair? No! Well, maybe. Hey, dude. Eyes up here. I'm sorry. I was just wondering how much pressure one little plastic ring can take. <laughs> uh... All right, so that's all it's I could. It's great to meet. No need to hurry, but I really hope I see you later. Hmm. <laughs> Under other circumstances, that might prove to be a perfectly suitable hiding place. Oh, I stuck it in her boobs. Nothing you have will improve on her lovely face. No, hot sauce will improve anything. I beg to differ. All right. More direct approach with the hot sauce. Can't go over there. Can I go in the water? Mr. Wiggles, the casino's whale, is frolicking merrily in the huge aquarium. You can't reach Mr. Wiggles while he's swimming. You I'm guessing two parts hydrogen, five parts oxygen. Wait, oops. You scoop up a bit of the water and rub it between your fingers. I'm guessing two. Uh. You jiggle the nearest locker. It's locked. Hence the. I want this one. You jiggle All right. hence. All right, that doesn't work. Stop fouling the aquarium water with your effluvia. Hmm. Stop fouling the. You're on the right track, but try a more direct approach with the hot sauce. You're on the right track, but try a more direct. Stop! You'll contaminate the rotting fish juice. Some days you can't get. Don't give the whale any nasty surprises, at least not with Jasmine around. Hmm, so we're stuck again already. Uh -uh. You don't have nearly enough helium to float a sperm whale. That'd be awesome. Stop fouling the equip. She looks at it with disinterest. It would be hilarious to see the dead squid floating around, but we're on a Kickstarter budget here. <laughs> There's a squid sticking out of the creel. Excuse me, that's m How could I possibly take that personally? Um, After what happened at the Baltimore Aquarium, you're legally not even allowed within 50 feet of cephalopods. <laughs> but since these are dead, we're letting it pass. <laughs> hmm. This machinery probably maintains the pool's salinity, oxygenation, and other technical stuff that doesn't interest you. 
I wonder if this... Here's a stretch. I had to, uh... You can't do anything to the machinery, which is very fortunate for Mr. Wiggles. Okay, so we know that's right out. See, here's another part. This is one of the things that kind of sucks about adventure games. It's like, well, do I have the right stuff? Or is there some, like, random thing that I missed somewhere? Uh, seems like I have to get rid of her. I just adore the way they smell. I don't know. <laughs> I must be biased, right? Someday, maybe they'll make a perfume that smells just like Jasmine. That would be my all-time favorite. Damn it. Obviously, we need this for the perfume. Maybe she wants an apple. She looks at it with dis- How about These a- Oops. Give her a girly magazine. All girls like girly magazines. She looks at it with. That's why they call them girly magazines, right? That's how this works. We still have the key. Why? She looks at it with dis. Uh, all right. Well, I will uh, plug away at this a bit more, and I'll uh, pick you guys up if I figure it out. Okay, so I cheated again, and quite frankly, I'm glad that I did, because else I would have wasted another 30 minutes to an hour over something incredibly ridiculous. You walk through a little maze of twisty passages, all alike, until you find your way back to civilization. So you go out. Now we go back in. Nope. Piece of shit. Here, this is for me. No, well, goddammit, use that on the door. You turn the ball. And, oh, look! There's nobody here. Jasmine must have gone on break. So, yeah, remember that one slight little mention she made about going on break? That was supposed to tip you off that she was leaving. Which is pretty silly. Again, this is why I have a love-hate with adventure games. They're a little bit too, too random and cryptic sometimes. Alright, so, can we grab something? You never know when a recently deceased squid will come in handy. You start to pick up the creel, but it's sopping wet. Ugh. You decide you don't really need all those squid. All right, so I'm probably going to either use the... Oh, that looks wonderful. Use the hot sauce on the creel or just the hot sauce on the whale. It's a dead squid, such as you might find in a bucket of chum washed up on the Jersey Shore by the thousands every day at low tide. Yummy. You poke it and prod it, but it just sits there quivering in a disturbing fashion. All right, so we might as well just try. Even dead, the screw recoils from the hot sauce. Okay. You look for a convenient way to administer the hot sauce to Mr. Wiggles. How about the hole? Oh, this is fucked up. <laughs> uh, wait, what? Carefully, what? you tip the hot sauce bottle into Mr. Wiggles' blowhole and pour out the entire contents. That's fucked up right there. Bubbles rise to the top of the sauce as it slowly glugs down into the whale's inner recesses. Don't try this at home. Easy there, big fella. He can't take anymore. He's gonna blow! Deep within the aquarium, the overspiced whale gives a mighty heave. Something floats to the surface of the aquarium. Mr. Wiggles swims away, snorking constantly. Oh, nasty. You kneel and scoop the water towards yourself until the ambergris is within reach. It's gooey and revolting, and you stick it in your pocket without a second thought. You're not really capable of second thoughts. Oh, nasty. Let's look at this. This is a gucky mass of whale effluent, also known as ambergris. You plunge your hand into the ambergris and feel around inside for anything interesting, like creel or pieces of marionettes or a squid beak. You find nothing. All right, so you run your hand. Along you had the attacky. You run your. No, nope, no. Nope. All right, let's leave. So I'm assuming that f creel of the uh, squid thing is going to be for attracting uh, the cat which we need to plunge our hand into its anus, which uh, sounds wonderful. This is a great, great day for Larry. You made a whale oh, vomit. That's yes, 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 my breath. 
which uh, typical day for Larry, I suppose. Making a vo whale vomit due to shoving hot sauce down its blowhole. All right, the cat should be around if I hold still, I think. I can't remember. I think he shows up anywhere. Let's try putting this down. Don't leave that where a mediocre celebrity might stumble over it and sue you. Okay. Actually, I think maybe the cat is at Taxi. the, uh... It's heavy. Nope. Come on. What the? Your coach awaits, loose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks. I think it's at the come and go. It's right. old number six. Yeah, all right. Let's pay him off. Thanks, kid. All right. Oh, there's the kitty cat. That would be a waste of time and inventory. You hold the squid out to the cat. You quickly grab one of the used syringes lying all too plentifully around lost wages. Oh! With a startling adeptness that raises questions about what you do in your free time, you extract <laughs> the fluid from the cat's musk glands. The oh. cat runs off without so much as a vengeful backwards glance that might foreshadow a sequel, or at least a really bloody scene later. Congratulations, you've got the best available local civet. Score! Oh, that's fucked up right there. Alright, let's, uh... It's a bottle that used to contain tasteless Dave's butt burner hot sauce. Okay. You captured some rare feline essence, approximately approximating civets. You don't dare squirt any of it out just for kicks. It's a precious and offensive commodity. You shake it as hard as you can, but only a few billion particles of hot sauce fly out. This is as empty as it's going to get. I think we need that for the label for some reason. All right, so now we need to go to Lefty's. What the? It's you again? Yes, get off my back about breath. No boyfriend dumping. Me just. It's old. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Thanks, kid. All right. So we have everything else. I'm pretty sure. Can you please breathe with your mouth closed? All right. Tired of hearing that. Ah. Okay. How many breaths do we have? Five sprays. Okay. Fine. So, does it say what kind of alcohol we need to use? With an alcohol. Okay. It just says alcohol. So, let's. Oops. Forget we had to sit down first. That's the proper way to speak to a bartender. A bartender would not talk to you if you don't sit on a bar stool. Everybody knows Hello? that. What'll it be? Let's get the vodka. I want to do some serious. I couldn't find anything. I couldn't find anything else to use vodka on. So we'll assume this is it. Because only good things happen when you assume. That'll be five. You flip five. You don't drink the vodka. Yep. All right. So now let's try combining all of these things. Oops, oops. Keep forgetting those two mixed up. Let's room in the shot glass. Okay, how about you? Oh, okay, whoops. Okay, we put it in here. Okay. You poke the ambergris into the bottle, spilling far more than you actually managed to get inside. Great. Again, just like sex. Put the vodka in there. Yep, you carefully put the vodka into the bottle. Put the cat butt juice. You squirt the civet into the bottle. Rather than carry around the empty syringe, you toss it in the general direction of the nearest public park. Good thinking. And let's put the flower in there. We stuff the jasmine blossoms into the bottle. Suddenly, the smell from the bottle improves immeasurably. You make sure the cap is on the bottle extra tight, and you shake the hell out of it. The vodka, civet, ambergris, and jasmine blossoms combine to form a crude, cloudy, poorly balanced, but actually serviceable jasmine squirting or scented perfume. You tear off the hot bottle label and stick a handy piece of paper on the bottle and then scrawl Edulerie on it. 
Where did the paper and the tape and the pen come from? Who knows? Who cares? All that matters is that you put something together to give to Jasmine and she'll know your heart was in the right place. You cobbled together our makeshift perfume to give Jasmine. You shot up the bottle with a, your shirt tail and a bit of spit so the bottle doesn't look so much like it just came off the buffet, buffet at the casino. Okay, I guess we didn't need the label. Okay. Now we can head back to Jasmine. I gotta think we get a, we're getting a little close to the end here. Because the girl in the pool, I remember, for whatever reason, I do remember that being the end of the original Leisure Suit Larry. Now, it doesn't mean it's the end of this one, but um, I would think it very well could be. We just have to figure out how the hell you get over there. We'll see what we get from All right. Jasmine once we give her the Thanks, perfume. Kid. Hopefully it will be something that will help us get across from one building to the next. But I guess we'll see. I don't know why or what that could possibly be, but... She is, uh... I'm sure she'll be very grateful to Larry for getting perfume. Oh, you made a new perfume. Let's have sex. That's how it works you in the real yourself. world. Larry, I was wondering where you'd gone. You have anything for me? Two things. Uh, there we go. An hourglass. Just for grins, let's save it. And let's find the perfume. And give it to her. And let's see what happens. You pull out your eau de Larry and lay it on her. <gasps> what is this? I call it... Oh, de Larry. Oh, Larry. Oh, de Larry. Ooh. Did someone just yodel? Anyway, <laughs> it's the first in my new line. Really? I didn't realize you were a parfumier. Why, yes. Yes, I am. Ever since before. And I created this scent just for you. In fact, I've created several scents today just thinking about you. Uh. But this is the only one I bottled. Intriguing. <laughs> well, Jasmine the second opens one. the bottle, waves it in the air, and inhales the lingering aroma. You bad boy. It's Jasmine. What else? She inhales again. And is that civet? Sort of. Ooh la la. And there's something else. Tabasco? Well, maybe just a little. Do you like it? It's a very unusual combination. There's something else. Something rare and valuable. That's right. Wow, Jasmine, your nostrils are like two beautiful bloodhounds. My God, you know just what to say, don't you? Uh. Is that amber grease? Exactly. How exotic. And it's from Mr. Wiggles, too. What? Don't tell You'd her that. You'd be surprised. Huge whale like that. You just give him a little bitty bottle of Tasteless Dave's butt burner hot sauce. What? Of course, you can't dilute it in the aquarium water. You have to pour it straight into oh, the blowhole. Oh, God damn it. What? You gave hot sauce to Mr. Wiggles? You screaming douche puppet! Screaming what now? How dare you assault a defenseless whale! Defenseless? He weighs 40 tons! Mr. Wiggles is my best friend! You're horrible! I never want to see you again! Get out and don't come back! So I bet you don't want to know how I got the civet. Get out! <laughs> I'm moving on my own there. How about we make passionate love just once? For old times- Get out! Get out! Okay. Hmm. So is this a deal where we have to go back in? I would think not, but I would think not the last time. You're looking at yes, all right. Here, this is for well, No, God damn it. Open the door. Oh, hello. Yeah, see? God damn it. There's a row of lockers here. You recognize that? It's one of those little kits with rubber patches and a bottle of special glue. It's for fixing minor holes in rubber and vinyl items. Hmm. Not... It does it immediately? Sound? You snag the little kit. 